Hello, you're here with data science teacher Brandon, and we're going to go over our first class of the data basics, Python data basics class one. So we're going to talk about data types and data types become so, so much more important code in general. Data types really would allow Python to know what to do with any given object or variable. This is really, really important. You would be surprised if you used Excel, how much Excel does to handle data types with you. You don't have that luxury, but you almost have more control because we're able to control the data types and control what happens because of that. Okay. So let's talk about data types. In the first section, we're going to talk about Python data types, the basic data types. And as I mentioned, Excel does a lot to handle these things for you. A string, the number two, and a numeric number two are basically the same thing for Excel which is very nice, it makes it very handy. In Python, it is not the same thing, and it is very annoying when you find that, and it's something you have to deal with, but it is something you, you have to be aware of, and a common issue that you have to look for. Okay. So let's get started. There are numeric data types. So these are integers, which are whole numbers, floats, which are decimals, booleans, which are trues and falses, okay, which are equal to, and we'll go over this in more detail in the workbook, but equal to ones and zero. There's also strings, which a, a general string, which could be like a name or just any alphanumeric symbols, any really combination of that. Another kind of category of text is category. So male, female, maybe the country, maybe the city. These are, they repeat over and over again, and we can use those a lot in our data analysis. Okay, collection of variables. Because there's lots of very important collections of variables we use all the time in data, especially in data science, we usually deal with more than one variable. So the basic Python data types, the list is, we know this because of the square brackets, and a list is great because it can hold literally anything. So it can hold integers, strings, with the quotation marks around it, a decimal, so a float right here, and then it can actually even hold another list. It can actually even hold pictures. So these could be pictures in each one of these positions. Okay, So lists are very flexible, they know a lot. One of the downsides of lists, they're technically very slow. You wouldn't notice this until you get to very advanced and very big data, but they are slower than, than, than the other data types. So tuple is used a lot in computer science because it is faster. The downside of a tuple is it can only hold one data type. So here we just have item one, item two, item three. Those are all strings. And this is denoted by the curly parentheses, uh, the curly bracket, or sorry, not curly, the circular brackets around the outside. Okay, and then the last one, uh, dictionary is really valuable in data science as well. You use dictionaries and lists probably the most uh, in, in data science. So here what we have is dictionaries are key value pairs. So we have a key, which is usually a string and then a value, which is could be a list, could be an integer. They really have to be the same size if they're lists, but really we can put lots of different things as a value. It's tying the value to this key. So like user ID is tied to the password. So the values of pairs, values can be uh, different and like a string or an integer or a decimal, each key must be unique, right? So you must have a unique key for each one of these. Let's go on to our next slide. 